not trying to start anything with Shakespeare, but I really think that Romeo and Juliet could have handled that situation better. All right, we're gonna do a fun Dollar Tree haul today. It's not my biggest, but as usual, I'm gonna, you're gonna be seeing all new stuff. Uh, the wind is howling like a wolf outside. So if you hear that, that's what's going down. Today is also a no eyebrow day. I tried, I did. I stared at myself in the mirror for like 15 minutes, talk, trying to talk myself into drawing them in. And even those 15 minutes when I could have just done it, got it over with, it still didn't end up happening. I don't know, eyebrows is my least favorite thing to do, but it's also like one of those things for me that if I don't do them, why do the rest of my face? But listen, the rest of my face already happened and then I had that internal argument, I lost, and here we are. So, oh, what bag do I dive into first? Let's go into here. Also, thank you for the feedback on the, I think it was the last Dollar Tree haul. I was trying to add some music. I actually liked the music, um, but I also, like videos without music too, but I, I completely heard all of you and I'm not going to be putting music in this video. Uh, fire. What's wrong with me today? That was a completely weird transition, but there you have it. I'm also going to try to do no editing, which means I'll be coughing. Um, my cough has picked up a little bit more lately, so I just think that the air keeps getting drier and drier and it keeps irritating the whole situation. Oh, you know what? Let's start off with this guy right here. <laughs> Isn't this appropriate? So I found this DVD, it was a dollar. I, I did that haul where there were so many DVDs and it was, oh, it was such a fun video for me to film because I, I do, I get such a joy out of showing you guys all the fun things that impress me at Dollar Tree. So this is a fireplace and melodies for the holiday. Now, if you have Netflix, and may, I don't know if they do this on Amazon Prime Video or not, but I know on Netflix this is available. So if you have streaming, you should be able to search for it. You can just throw up the fireplace thing and it's just such a nice ambiance mood. But they also sell this DVD that you can just pop in if you don't have Netflix. Um, yeah, so tw two hours of classic Christmas songs. So it is Christmassy. Um, Ooh, all the songs, I love this. I don't know that that's available on Netflix. <coughs> it might be, who knows, but I found that for a dollar. And this is interesting, it's a deep wrinkle hydrogel eye treatment. I don't know how many you get in here. Does it say? Targets nooks and crannies with caviar extract. And it says Miss Spa right here at the top, look at that. And I'm going to sneeze and I'm gonna to try to do no editing so I don't know what's about to happen. Ugh. I hate when you don't sneeze, you know what I'm saying? When you need to. Uh, you have to do this for 45 minutes. Okay, and it's just basically the same directions as any under eye gel treatment. So there you have it. It looks like it's, it's thick, but I cannot tell if that's like one application. Um, it just, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on trying to figure that out, but. I found another one of these fragrance packets and what I really liked about it was that it has a, it's a new scent. It is lemongrass ginger and it smells so great, you guys. I'm gonna be doing a lot of reorganization, a lot of redecorating this year in 2020. And I'm gonna, just everything, under the sink, in every cabinet, in every closet, I'm gonna be structuring and reorganizing my entire life. And I do foresee myself in the future buying a couple of these, you know, for just closets and specific drawers. This one smells really nice and lovely and probably one of the best ones that I've smelled at Dollar Tree. So the lemongrass and ginger I think is a really good pickup. Does that make any sense? Okay, this is exciting. This is from the original Super Glue. It is permanent mounting tape and it can hold up to 20 pounds, which is 
nuts. It's great for ceramic, glass, mirrors, plastic, and more. Is this not interesting? What the heck? Look how much tape there is. And it shows you how to, yeah, like in the picture. I don't even know what that is. What is that in the picture? <coughs> Indoor and outdoor, moisture resistant, double sided. That's a lot of claims to be sold for a dollar, but I'm gonna try that out. I picked up some furniture scratch markers. They also had this in another packet of lighter colors. And I just kind of wanted to test these out, see how well they worked. Looks like there are two shades of brown and a black in here. Probably should have picked up the lighter one too. All right, I picked up another one of these Vaseline every time I buy just lip balms they disappear. I think my daughter just comes and grabs them and she took my last Vaseline and I always love to get the one with the rose, the rosy tint. I really do like these. Um, they also have one that doesn't have a tint to it, but I do prefer the pink one. My favorite lip balm is really expensive. It's $18. It's the one by Sol de Janeiro, I believe, and it's that lip, Brazilian lip butter stuff and it's $18. Um, so I like to have something as a backup so I have to use that one every day and this is my next favorite and it's a dollar. Love that stuff. Alright, then I can't believe how many views that video got but <laughs> I found more of these things because when I first hauled it I wasn't really quite sure what was happening. Why? There we go. But I found two more in what I guess is like different 100% <clears throat> pure essential oils it's pocket aromas and in that video which I'll link down below for you um, it, you just squeeze it and it's like a personal diffuser and it spritz out the essential oil uh, what kind are these this one is peppermint and something Peppermint, spearmint, lemon, ginger, ginger root. It's like a combination of a bunch. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why it's being so bright. And then this one is eucalyptus, basically. Peppermint, rosemary. I love essential oils. So this is actually a pretty cool concept because I can drop these in my purse and it's just the, the act of doing it is kind of weird. You like pump it and you smell it so it, it looks slightly illegal but found some more okay oh yes i forgot about this i found some really exciting hand soap i don't know if i've ever seen them do this but it's meyer lemon maybe they have but look how huge this bottle is and the bottle is really pretty too wow this meyer lemon smells so good i the only thing about these hand soaps is being able to tell if they're actually cleaning your hands. If you know like what ingredient you're supposed to look for, um, let me know because I just want to make sure that I'm obviously cleaning, not just making my hands smell pretty, I want to make sure that you know my hands are being cleaned with soap. So I don't know, let me know what, what that ingredient is. Although even if I tried to read it back here, it would just be impossible. This is new and it's Bolero, but I've never seen this packaging, this style body wash ever being sold at Dollar Tree. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what else they're gonna put out this year. So it's body wash and it matches those, um, that hair mask treatment that I showed in another video. I'll also link it down below. That also has a ton of views. It's such a short amount of time. I was I was honestly blown away um, by how many views the video got. So this is that coconut and rose hip. So this is the body wash. And coconut and rose hip claims to be hydrating. And look at that, the product is completely clear. So I can't wait to try this as a body wash. I'm wondering if this will also be kind of good as like a shaving gel. And then this one is the black tea and lychee. I couldn't find any of the other body washes. This was basically it. 
So that makes me really sad because I would have loved to have that entire collection. I also think these are going to be perfect like if you have a guest bathroom or if you have a guest bedroom in your house because you have people come over and stay over a lot and they maybe have their own personal bathroom next to the to their bedroom. What am I even saying? Um, this would be beautiful products to store um, for guests that come over. So I really love the packaging. I just think it's beautiful. It's inexpensive. All right, let's move on. Everything else is, ooh, I forgot about this stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to flip out. Let me get them unwrapped real quick. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. What do I show you first? Okay. Next up are, what are, what do they call these again? There's a name for it and I don't remember what it is. It's basically, it's like a wax warmer, wax melt warmer thing, right? And also found it in white. Look how beautiful. I love that this has a fall vibe. So even though I don't use like this orange every day, I still thought it was worth the pickup because I will store it with my fall stuff. And the white is just gorgeous, can go with so much decor. Another great idea for a guest bathroom or even your bathroom. Um, beautiful in the kitchen, in a guest bedroom. Wow, I mean, it's a dollar. And then these two warmer toned colors. And this is where you would put the tea light and then the wax melt for that. All right, and the last things, like I mentioned, this was a little smaller haul. What are these? I, I feel like this is something you would put candles in, but it's so farmhouse. is what okay so first of all it's ceramic white and then there is black text there we go and you see all the little windows all the open holes the heart guessing this is where if you were to put maybe a real candle in here the the you know the smoke has like an outlet and that is where you could possibly put them in here i don't know let me know your thoughts but that one says welcome, very farmhouse, right? And then here is this little house, which looks like a duplex, which is so cute. Love lives here, slanted roof, more little windows, three windows over here, two over here, and then the open chimney, so cute. And this one is probably my favorite, home sweet home. Eventually, there we go. Whoa, figure it out. What is it focusing on? There we go, home sweet home. This one has a little heart like the first one. More little hearts. Look at that one, a little heart at the top. So interesting, yeah, this one doesn't have hearts at all. But the first one, the welcome one, had the heart at the top. I thought that was such a fun find, very farmhouse, very trendy and cute. Um, so I loved seeing that at the Dollar Tree. All right, that is it for today's haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I have a very exciting video that I'm gonna release on Sunday. So stay tuned, click the bell if you wanna make sure that you don't miss it because the bell will alert you and tell you as soon as any of my videos are set to public. So I think a lot of you are gonna be excited and yeah, so hopefully I'll see you there and I hope you have a good day.